Il forum darà voce soprattutto ai rappresentanti d'agricoltura, conduzione familiare e di piccola scala. The People's Expo is the gathering of uh, small scale food producers, peasants, uh, pastoralists uh, and fishers of uh, small scale. They are producing 70% of our food on a global scale. They are the major investor in agriculture. They are uh, who is uh, giving uh, uh, income and work to, to people and at the same time they, are, they don't have any voice inside the Universal Expo. So we are trying, uh, we are here uh, as uh, also the NGO and uh, environmental association as natural allies of these small scale producers to take our, our roles and to offer an alternative uh, recipe uh, on how to feed the, the planet. And the, this recipe is based on the concept of food sovereignty and environmental justice. Two key, key concepts uh, elaborated by uh, the peasants movement, the social movement, and they should have uh, found a better place inside the Universal Expo. At the Expo in Milan, they claim that they feed the world and that they have the solution for hunger, they will create jobs using the image of agroecology, uh, sustainable farming, and it's just the image, a window dressing. La agroecología es un sistema agroalimentario, social, que reorganiza los territorios, dándole un valor central a la producción de alimentos y a quienes producimos la alimentación para los pueblos, los pequeños productores de alimentos los agricultores ecológicos, los campesinos y campesinas, los pueblos indígenas, los pescadores artesanales, los pastores, los recolectores, que trabajamos en pequeña escala, en forma anónima muchas veces, en los territorios, pero somos los responsables de alimentar al mundo con productos que garantizan autonomía, garantizan no la dependencia de insumos de afuera, y garantiza la supervivencia de la forma de vivir que nosotros elegimos en todo el mundo. Our concern really is that the contribution that we make to global food systems is the most important and the most critical one, yet in terms of national legislation and in terms of global fishery management, we are probably the worst off, even though we make the best contribution.